Let's get things over to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Aguilera with your First Alert forecast. I've got one friend who's a leap uh, birthday, and she sometimes does two birthdays to, well, yeah, <laughs> just, just to should. make up for yeah. it. Right? <laughs> Join March 1st, too, while you're at it. <laughs> Might as well, right? Hey, uh, what a day out there uh, right now. We've got sunshine as we look from our city park camera here. Hardly a cloud in the sky going on. And here on the last day of February, we had a really warm day. It's 61 at DIA, but we had a high of 64 degrees today, about 10 degrees almost warmer than what we had yesterday. It's 62 up in Greeley, 55 in Lakewood and 58 in Littleton, but the wind is really whipping out there. 60 uh, degrees in downtown, so that does give us just a little wind chill, so it feels uh, starting to feel a little colder. As we get closer to sunset, it's going to feel a little colder with the wind chill. During the day, that wind helped to warm us up, so it's kind of an opposite effect as we uh, lose the sun and the heating going on later today. Here's the winds right now, 22 mile per hour downtown, 15 in Golden and 22 in Roxborough. Mostly clear across the state with just a few clouds starting to encroach the western slope out here in Grand Junction. It's not a, a solid shield of clouds, but just a little moisture overriding this high pressure ridge, which is now over Arizona and New Mexico, still bringing in warm air. Now, the wind vectors here are the uh, jet stream winds, and you see where they turn red here? That's what, uh, red and orange. That's where the strongest of the jet stream is, and that's going to start to kick in gear coming up for Friday into Saturday. That's the reason our winds will be a little stronger as we head into the weekend, as that low pressure trough that's sitting out there starts to move a little closer, and when that does, that's going to give us a chance of snow, heavy snow in the mountains and rain returning mixed in with snow across the eastern plains Saturday night into Sunday with a little change for that. In the meantime, tonight into tomorrow, mostly clear skies. We take you all the way through Friday afternoon tomorrow. Just a few clouds in the mountains and out west, but still plenty of sunshine. And then on Saturday, we start the day mostly clear and out west. We see a few clouds increasing by afternoon, but eastern Colorado, windy, dry and clear all day long. And that's when that fire danger too returns for eastern Colorado tonight into tomorrow. It's going to really dry out down in Colorado Springs down to Pueblo and Trinidad on here. So tomorrow 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. They have a red flag warning for high fire danger down there. Their humidity levels might be under 9% tomorrow with wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour and it does go all the way over into Canyon City there and, and just outside of Salida. Ed Powers, our weather watcher up in Marshdale has 50 degrees. He lives up near Evergreen and in Ridgeway, Ridgeway out there in southwestern Colorado. Ran Andy bursts coming in at 48, just north of Montrose out that way. His temperatures will probably drop into the lower 20s down there in his uh, region. Teens in the mountains tonight, and we'll be in the 30s and uh, 20s across the eastern plains. Tomorrow, though, look at the warm-up. We get even warmer tomorrow. A lot of mid to upper 60s start to show up. 64 in Meridian, Stonegate, and Parker down there in Douglas County. And your neighborhoods up there around Thornton, Federal Heights, Westminster, Sherwood. You'll all be mid-60s tomorrow with that wind. And kicking in gear. Feeling like spring for girls in science. 65 degrees, mostly sunny and still a little windy tomorrow. But if you're going to the event, come on out at the Museum of Nature and Science. 60s to start. We'll be in the 40s at 8 p.m. when we wrap it up. And 67 degrees on Saturday with that wind. And of course, all of eastern Colorado has a fire weather watch for Saturday. Gusts of wind up to 40 mile per hour, even stronger in some areas of southeastern Colorado and very, very dry. This will probably either tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon go red flag and that's when uh, we really mean business that it's a slam dunk for that to happen and then rain and snow possible on Sunday 52 heavy snow in the mountains light snow for us mixed with rain I know a lot of kids have soccer games coming up this weekend hundreds of kids over the area getting in on that soccer starting up the season out there it's going to be kind of soggy especially on Sunday on into Monday for that one so the pick day of the weekend probably Saturday if you're just careful with that fire danger soggy for the players and the parents I think so yeah good heads up yeah. thank forgot you forgot about the parents <laughs> We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs>